More than 900 miles separate Hollywood and the state of New Mexico. The distance is even greater between the land of enchantment and New York. But one person links both centers of culture and entertainment. KTSM 9 News reporter Jessica Nevarez details Mark Madoff's legacy in tonight's special report. You might recognize Neil Patrick Harris and Marley Matlin from the big and small screens, but they have one thing in common, that being their ties to the borderland through New Mexico, specifically through a literary artist who recently passed away. Good stuff in there. All right, let's move over. Okay. He didn't seem like anybody famous. He didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary. I didn't see him as everybody else did. He was just, just daddy. Deborah Marks, Rachel Harrison, and Jessica Bunchman grew up living what they thought were normal lives, never thinking anything was out of the ordinary. We lived in a home filled with music and literature and art. Part of that art created by their dad, an award-winning playwright who ventured to Las Cruces in 1966, never expecting to make it his home. He chose to stay here because this community that we live in, this state, is absolutely extraordinary. The, the love that he has for this state is, is amazing. Mark Medoff, the nationally acclaimed Tony Award winner and Academy Award nominee for Children of a Lesser God, Obie Award winner for When You Come In Back Red Rider, who worked on more than 30 plays, a dozen movies, and a novel throughout his illustrious career. He's uh, an icon of writing and film. A legendary man in the eyes of many across the world who helped influence some of the lives of acclaimed actors like Neil Patrick Harris and Marley Madeline. But here in the borderland, those who knew Medoff knew him in different ways, like his deep love for teaching and his giving spirit. Mark kind of assembled the team, right? He's our Iron Man, if we think about it like we're the Avengers. Medoff found his home at New Mexico State University, where he taught for 52 years in the English, theater, and creative media departments. He taught a lot of kids in this area. He, uh, he left his mark on a lot of people's work. And so, yeah, his legacy will carry on and carry on and carry on. In fact, he was vital in creating NMSU's Creative Media Institute, which is now the biggest undergrad program in the state, creating a lasting ripple effect of talent. It's had this exponential effect that even, you know, two generations from now, the films and the commercials and the music videos and the animated projects that come from this area will bear his mark. Yeah. Do you know a lot about love? And are you amazing? <laughs> and are you beautiful? Yes. Are you? Although he spent years educating and inspiring, everyone that knew him agree on his greatest achievement in life, his family. I'm going to miss that a lot, His, the touch of him. The thing that I, I really miss about him right now, today, are his hands. I, I loved his hands and his smell. I remember what he smells like. All things his entire family will miss, especially one that touched his heart from her first breath to his last. We're shooting a movie here about you. You have to be quiet. She kept him going for the past five years of his life, even before we knew that he was sick. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, you know, no, 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 no. Hope Harrison inspired her family to create the Hope E. Harrison Foundation. What do you want to say? And you say, I'm going to miss my poppy bigger than the sky. Huh? Yeah. Just one of the many traits she learned from her poppy. Where's poppy? <gasps> right here. Huh. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. Mark Madoff's family is holding a memorial service this Sunday, May 19th at 2 p.m. at the Center for the Arts at NMSU that is open to the public. Jessica Navarez, KTSM 9 News. Beautiful, Jessica. Thank you very much. Well,